don't know about you guys, but after a really long, busy shift at work, the last thing that I want to do is come home and cook. But I want to eat something that's both delicious and nutritious, and I want to eat it right now. Sound familiar? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara, and on this channel, I love to share delicious, easy, and healthy recipes that you can make right in your very own kitchens. So whether you love to cook, or you just love watching videos about cooking, this is the channel for you. Today, you guys are in for a really special treat. I know that as a busy oncology nurse in a very, very hectic infusion center, I barely have a minute to sit down all throughout the day. So when I get home from work, the last thing I wanna do is spend a long period of time on my feet trying to make dinner. But I also wanna eat something that's healthy and makes me feel good and is delicious. So today we are gonna be making an incredibly easy, fast, nutritious, and delicious shrimp and rice bowl. This recipe comes together in less than 15 minutes and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love to have you a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button below and be sure to hit that bell icon. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Okay guys, let's hop right into the video. In a small bowl, I'm adding 15 large frozen shrimp. I buy wild caught shrimp and they're certified preservative free and pesticide free. Next, we're gonna pour some cold water on top. This is gonna defrost the shrimp very, very quickly. The next step is to take all of the shells off of the shrimp and make sure that you take the vein out of the top of the shrimp. Mine come already deveined, but it's really easy to do if yours don't. Next, I'm going to add one half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one half of a teaspoon onion powder, and some Himalayan pink salt and fresh cracked black pepper and I'm gonna give this a really good stir. Then I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and set it in the fridge while we work on the other ingredients. So next comes our aromatics. I love shallots, garlic, and ginger for stir fry. It is the classic trio. So we're gonna kinda just roughly chop these and with ginger, I find a great hack, and I've shown this before, is to use the back of a spoon to get the skin off. It just works so well. If you don't have a shallot, you can also use a regular onion. So I decided I wanted to make this ginger pretty pronounced in the dish. So I'm chopping it up rather than using my garlic press or using a microplane, but you do it however you like. Next, we are gonna get started. And of course, I'm gonna start with a delicious glass of a dry red. I love this wine, it's so good. With a splash of avocado oil, I'm heating up my wok and I'm throwing the shrimp in. It's really important to let them kind of sit on the bottom of the wok just for a couple of like maybe 35 seconds so that they get a really nice color. These cook very, very quickly, maybe one minute at the most, and then I'm removing them from the pan. I'm not cleaning it, I'm just adding all of the aromatics into the wok. If you don't have a wok, you can also use a frying pan. I added another drizzle of avocado oil, and to keep the oil content lower, I also added a splash of vegetable broth. This is a great hack. If you don't wanna use any oil at all, you don't have to. You can simply use the vegetable broth, bone broth, chicken broth, beef broth, whatever kind of broth you want. I recommend doing that instead of water so that you get the extra flavor. The next step is for us to add our rice. I'm using long grain brown basmati rice. I recommend meal prepping your grains on the weekend. What I usually do is make a really big batch of, let's say, brown rice, and then I will portion it out into individual portions, put it in individual bags, freeze it flat. So I'll take it all the air out of the bag, freeze it flat, and then when I need anything throughout the week, I simply take one of the portions out and I'm good to go. I was surprised how well frozen rice worked in this dish. I've actually never tried to use it frozen before. I highly recommend not using warm rice 
because you just will not get the texture right in a stir fry dish like this. But the, the frozen rice worked really well. If you prefer white rice, quinoa, any other kind of grain, feel free to substitute. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. I prefer tamari, you use whatever kind you like. I'm adding another splash of vegetable broth, keeping this moving the entire time. The whole cooking process takes less than five minutes. It is so quick. Now it's time for us to add our egg. If you don't wanna use eggs, you don't have to, but I did. So I added another drizzle of the avocado oil and poured the egg in. Now this is very important. You don't wanna mix it yet. You let it kinda of set up just a little bit and then you stir the egg around within itself. So you're not going to have like an egg soup rice dish. You want the egg to cook kind of by itself first. And now I'm adding a splash of teriyaki sauce and my frozen peas. We are almost done with this dish. Adding the shrimp back in. Now really all we're doing is tossing everything to coat. The peas are cooking super quick. If you want to use some carrots, you can sub in carrots. And now I'm going to add some sesame seeds. I love sesame seeds. They give so much flavor and texture to a dish. Look at this, oh my goodness. Another little drizzle of oil and we are almost done. So fast, so easy. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay guys, here is the moment of truth. Look at this dish. Less than 15 minutes to make, so much more delicious than takeout, so much faster and so much more nutritious. I decided to really kick this up a notch, so I'm adding a drizzle of my sweet garlic and chili sauce. I made this in a recent video. I will link it up in the cards and also in the description box below. Ugh, it really adds just a special kick to this dish. Top it with a few leaves of fresh cilantro and you cannot beat this as a weekday dinner so fast and easy. Can you believe we made this dish in less than 15 minutes? So fast, so versatile. You can add just about any kind of veggies into this that you like. You can even use quinoa instead of brown rice. Ugh, so comforting, easy, fast, delicious. You guys have got to try this. What did you think of today's video? I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. Leave me a comment below and let me know a recipe you'd really love for me to share. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.